Hello, and welcome back to another Indip Weather video. Today, we are moving on from Winter Storm Gale, which it's still happening um, in parts of the Northeast, but it's moving out. Um, but we'll talk about some more final snow totals. Uh, just in general, uh, parts of southern New England and parts, of just generally the tri-state area kind of got less snow than expected because of that dry air. Um, I talked about that on the live stream. But uh, we're going to move on to next week. So next week, Christmas week, we have a few systems uh, before then. So we'll talk about some of that today. Uh, this is not... I'm planning on doing something about White Christmas. Um, but I think that will be something for either Saturday or Sunday, something like that. Um, so let's move on here from the National Weather Service page, which there's not much going on. A few isolated winter weather advisories, um, some freeze watches, I think there's, yeah, frost advisory, freeze warning, that's about it. But before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. We just surpassed 200 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into this video. So, NAM 3 kilometer model. So, we have, let me actually go back here to our one. So you can see Gale moving out. Uh, still some snow possible in parts of the Cape. Cape Cod there. Um, you also have this low pressure kind of starting to form here in the Rockies, some rocky snow. You also have this clipper system in the very far north. Then you have this next system moving on to the Pacific Northwest with some rain and some snow. But then we have this low pressure up here to the north starting to draw up some Gulf moisture with some help of this short-lasted low pressure over here. And that could bring some minor snow totals to areas of Wisconsin and Michigan. Then as this thing moves into the northeast, uh, we could see that high pressure kind of block things a little bit. Get some snow into Indiana and Ohio. Uh, Pennsylvania could see some more snow. Now let's go into the 12-kilometer model here. Um, and this is where things get kind of a bit trickier because this thing is going to lose most of that moisture as it starts to move into the northeast. But you can see that it tries to bring up some Atlantic moisture and impact parts of the northeast. Now, one thing that the NAM 12 kilometers is really not putting in here, I think most of this rain over here, let's actually look at some temperature. Um, let's go shaded. Yeah, I think that at the ground level, um, the surfaces, especially with that snow cover, will be a little bit colder, uh, and some of this rain over here, if parts of these areas get any, uh, will be freezing rain, and then as, if there's a warm-up, I don't think there is, because there's really not a cohesive low pressure over here, then you could see normal rain, but it is a bit early, this is, uh, over the weekend into Monday, so... And we don't have kind of consistency. So you can see that kind of moves out on Monday. Next low pressure kind of forms up here. Uh, Pacific Northwest still pretty active there. Now let's move into the GFS. Um, let's go to... Yep. So that's that Monday storm system. The GFS actually shows that a uh, possible nor'easter can form over here. That's going to be well out to sea. Um, but maybe the Maritimes of Canada can be affected by that a little bit with some stronger winds. Then you have this next system over here. We have this little pressure in the plains. And we could see some pretty significant winds here. Um, probably some minor snow totals until you get over here. This is when this storm system kind of intensifies. You get a strong wraparound. Uh, kind of seeing that snow take over here as it moves into the northeast and that is where this is cut off right now this is the very latest model run loading in as we speak so um this is something that we have to watch as well this is this is moving into the northeast on christmas so it is pretty far out about a week 
or actually a week from today. Pretty crazy. But we have this possible winter storm here that uh, will be affecting most areas as a couple of mo uh, transitions here or just kind of slides in a sense of the loop just loaded in. So maybe some of these areas in the northeast, uh, they start out as snow in some spots actually. Wait. Uh, actually, yeah, most areas will start off as rain, right? Then you can transition over to some freezing rain, some mix, and then on the back end, there's a possibility for snow. So, I don't think there's going to be... Yep, so polar plunge seems like that makes sense because of the low pressure. Um, let's go to total positive snow depth change. Yeah, that's a little bit behind right now. That'll probably be something that we have to talk about. Uh, next week But yeah, something definitely very interesting that we have to look at um, with this Next coming week being very significant for travel having these very cold temperatures in most of the US I would not be surprised to see this is usually a 32 degree line over here all the way into Florida. It seems like um, Do we get up to date with? That I don't think so, but Right now, this is kind of the only thing loading in. We have to watch this storm system pretty closely. Um, both these s storm systems, in fact. Especially if this one over here tries to generate something on the south end and move up the coastline. Uh, maybe some areas uh, like down east Maine, Cape Cod, uh, eastern Long Island. Could see some impacts from that. But of course, we do have time for all of this. Uh, the models can can change. But let's move over to the European. All right, so the European model. Let's go back. All right, so you can see Gale moves out. Uh, we have this next low pressure system over here. Kind of doesn't have as much snow here, but it does have a little bit more cold temperatures in the northeast, and kind of brings just a quick little snowstorm probably just a dusting there uh, but that could you know ensure more of a white Christmas it also has a low pressure kind of forming over here trying to move up the coast there um, but that actually pulls in some uh, precipitation there and you could see another yet another round of rain and snow in the northeast before look at that that intensifies going into the Maritimes of Canada and you can see some heavy snowfall there then we have this Christmas system um, that moves across, kind of really doesn't have that much of an impact there. Um, maybe just a thin strip of snow in parts of the northeast, but it really doesn't have that huge uh, pull of cold air creating snowfall in that back end as this is probably just a line of showers moving through the country. Then yet another low pressure forms over there. And that tries to move to the north as well. So we're kind of seeing this pattern here that we're kind of getting this type of jet stream. Um, and we also have a another jet stream probably right over here. So I would have to look at the uh, upper level winds a little bit more. Let's actually look at some upper air dynamics. There's only vorticities here. Let's see if the GFS has any of that. Okay, so here, all right. This can possibly show us something here. Let's actually do this. Nope, that's not it. Uh, where did I go? There we go. Okay, this kind of shows us a lot of the activity in the atmosphere here so yeah you can kind of see that the jet is kind of right around here and that kind of moves it along probably right here there um, but you could see in between there some jet streams right around here so yeah definitely a lot of things that we got to look at um, closely over the next few 
days here um, leading up to the holidays. So, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think your area is going to see you like Christmas? Um, and that does require one inch of snow on the ground. So, what do you think? Comments in the comment section down below. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.